Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. You can listen to The Mike O'Mara Show at MikeO'MaraShow.com. Let's get started. It's The Mike O'Mara Show with Mike O'Mara, Oscar Santana, and Rob Spiewak. Now, here's Mike. Live from Podville Media in Washington, D.C. and around the world, you are listening to The Mike O'Mara Show. Whoa, whoa. Welcome to the party, and please join us along with our friends in great places like Two Egg, Florida. I made two eggs for my son this morning. Show uh, off. Killeen, Texas. Uh, Nampa, Idaho. All right, Nampa. Nampa. Never heard of that. Yeah. Uh, Flemington, New Jersey. Stonington, Maine. And Davos, Switzerland. That's a spot I'd love to visit. Don't have the money to live there, but I'd love to visit there. Welcome to the Mike O'Mara Show. Happy post NFL playoffs. Playoffs. I, uh, playoffs. You always show, folks, this is uh, for kids out there. That are sports fans. You don't abandon your team. You always celebrate your team. Win or lose. Yeah. This is an indication to all the Giants fans out there that uh, life goes on and we will return. And uh, what a drubbing. I love that word in sports. Drubbing, drubbing, drubbing. Uh, But we'll get to that and a reason that uh, I can thoroughly enjoy the uh, NFC Championship game, and I'll tell you all about that in a second. But before I do that, I always like to start with something very special online. And I'm not sure whether anybody else saw it, but right. I'm sure they did because it was on uh, social media. So you have to social. see this. So I don't like, uh, what do they call them, chain letters. I don't like okay. being told what yeah. to do. You know, like this and move on. Uh, and you know, you send Pass this to on. twenty people. My mom gets you, a lot of these, and you'll get good luck. These right. are still big in um, developing countries such as Bolivia. Yeah. My mom mm-hmm. will get one glow, like no, it's more like a glitter Virgin Mary sticker for her phone. <laughs> that's supposed to be good luck from one of her friends that has forwarded a chain letter or right. chain text in this this case to send her to ten other people, and then she sends it to us, and we all immediately say, "Stop sp- uh, sending us viruses." It's horrible, please. Yeah, now it's, I can, it's, it's, it's the worst it, naked. Uh, it is truly uh, naked manipulation. Is which it? Nobody is needs. it usually a virus? Because the basis of the chain letter theories are that someone thought that if they successfully launched a mail this to twenty of your friends campaign. It would clog up and shut down the post office. Uh, so uh, that was the original yeah, notion of it back in the a million years ago. So now they're using it, is it to now, spread and it's viruses. Been replaced, it's been replaced by. Depends uh, if you have an Android yeah. or if you if you're phone. at all like I am politically active. You are. I spend more time unsubscribing yes. and uh, that than I than I care to. But it's my fault because I donate to people uh, occasionally. And I, I and just thank think, you for that, Mike. Oh, man, you're doing uh, your part, you. Mike. Every dollar Thanks counts. Thanks so much. That's right. uh, I appreciate it. This is the bit I have, at least. I'll answer the phone when I'm at their house, and I let them know that they've passed while they're in front of me. My, <laughs> I let them know that my parents have passed. That's good. I've done that. While, that, that, while but, I but sit that in their house. That won't matter to them. If you're in a database, it's not yeah, going to matter. But I like it the used awkwardness to matter. of... I'm so oh, sorry yeah. for your loss. If it's a yeah. live person, and then you can click. still get yeah. that. On the yeah. fire, when they, I get a call from the fire department, I say, I really can't talk. I'm dealing with a lot of stuff right now. My house just burned down. Yeah. <laughs> That's another good awkward moment. So they do it online, too, on social media, where, you know, if you feel strongly as we do about this, share this with you. You know, it's like, shut up. I mean, really, I don't mind. <laughs> By the way, I love uh, How people it? that post uh inspirational things i love people that post yes. uh uh funny things i love people i like social media i enjoy it i get a lot of entertainment out of it i get a lot of uh uh feel good moments out of it what i don't care for is being manipulated in any way and that's why when i turned to this one uh i immediately uh stopped and took pen to paper to make sure that i would jot it down and this was on uh, the book of faces mm. And on the Book of Faces, coming across my feed yesterday, is a photograph. The photograph contains a picture of a condom that appears to be filled with spaghetti. Oh. So what it is is the shape of a condom with the receptacle tip that I always like to mention. Thank you, Mike. (laughs) There was a day for uh, you oldsters out there, you know this, where condoms did not have the receptacle tip. Back when they were made of animal skin? 
And boy, was that. And that, you know, it was very, very in the dark ages. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so this condom, it's a picture, and you can see the tomato sauce. So it's cooked and, spaghetti. It's not uh, raw and, noodles. No, it's not raw. That would put a tear in the condom, I would think. Yeah. No matter how strong they are or ribbed for her pleasure. And so, uh, <laughs> and do they use that? And do they use I that don't anymore? I think so. I think that's ancient yeah, history yeah. as well. Yes. But it shows you, but I date myself. When's the but last anyway, time you had to buy one? I mean, all you do I, is make babies and get married. I, you know, uh, you know, well, no, I or mean, reverse, I, so I get married, then make babies. I was, I think, you know, if you look at my history, uh, <laughs> pregnancies when wanted, that's how you would. Yeah. You had you 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 your own method. I remember. Yeah, I clearly had have, um, su- such low tea. Even if I wanted one, I can't have one. Well, yeah. based on your history too and your track it keeps record, falling that's, off. You know what? That's a, that's a pretty good thing, Oscar. That's a pretty good Excuse thing. Me. I think that's good. I like children because uh, otherwise you would have been God. How many hours would you have spent in court? So moving on. Oh my God. So the condom. So you see Just the condom full of spaghetti. Yeah, exactly. And it's like, what is this? And then underneath it, it says, "Like it for good luck." Or ignore it for bad luck. What? <laughs> if you like the, and I would like to know. Just an image of a condom full of cooked spaghetti. Full of cooked spaghetti sauce. and sauce. And like it for good luck, uh, ignore it for bad luck. And I am wondering. Sauce. In this great country of ours, in the world, yes. of course. it is. That's why they call it the World Wide Web. I am wondering if there is anyone out there who would uh, deign to hit the like button on a condom filled with cooked spaghetti and marinara sauce and toma- tomato sauce. I am, uh, I'd like to know that. I, I really would probably would. go with a different emoji, like maybe the, the, the care emoji. The, where the where the the face is I don't cuddling think the heart. Any need to respond? I <laughs> I when I saw that after my amusement and after my uh, considering it wonderful material for the show, I chose to move on I as see. rapidly as possible. Well, bad so, luck to I don't you. Know if it's out there floating around. Yeah, it's, it, I uh, found it. I found it. <laughs> of course uh, you did. It's a wonderful Oscar world. Of Someday interweb. we will be showing it to you, folks. Someday yeah, we will have it up crazy, in the corner Mike. of our TV production. We'll do this that. Is, I'd love this to do is, that. This is. It's it's in it's oh it's even worse it's laying on a bed right is that the one you saw yeah well okay. I, I no I saw the other one no this, <laughs> is, this, this apparently this has been going viral since 2014 this is a thing yes is this the thing yeah, it's like a big where thing. people do this and they've been doing this for a while oh you know oh, what it is Mike God. yeah it's an ad oh, by for, the way it's an ad speaking for of Boko Oscar finding things online with spaghetti uh, yeah. <laughs> we have to make a correction because I like to do that Oscar chose to ignore it I chose to bring it to your attention I owned it we have online to, we, you totally owned it online yeah. but you but you didn't own uh, uh, you know own it on the show we, and you knew about about it we have, so i'm very concerned about we, I, that you know this is we not, have our ethical standards okay please Oscar. please we have I our think ethical this, this, we bridged the gap here <laughs> jesus christ oscar would you like to do it or yes, would you like yes. me to do um, it uh go look, ahead what we've been doing the show for almost three thousand uh, episodes <laughs> that's right tomorrow, tomorrow i can only i can only i can only count on one hand this is ever happening to a program i've been on ever before all right wow that's a statement there i know i've done it multiple times yeah uh the Jack Nicholson spaghetti. I'm sorry, ch- chili, chili, chili bit, chili spilling bit, chili gate, um, chili gate, spilly. While I stand by the fact that the guy's an absolute mess on the sidelines, he never <laughs> spilled chili on himself or his shoes. He never did. There oh. was, was never a Tupperware container. It was from the onion. It was from the source, onion. And definitely it fake was. news. Yeah. And as I texted Oscar back, I said, "Still hysterical." Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it brought no, us much joy. Well, not cause, true cause the, and the article, brilliantly done by the onion. The yeah. article next to it has Jack on you know on the Lakers sidelines with his his gut hanging out. So like this all and this coincided from, like, with the story looks. I think Rob had yeah. or yes. brought to the table about, about possible Jack dementia Nicholson and being a recluse and no longer getting yeah. out of the house. So the chili. <laughs> And I went back so and funny. looked at it mm. to, to look at the photos. And it's so brilliantly done because it look what I think is Jack Nicholson may be making a point with his finger out yeah. that appeared in a perfect way. If you were holding the edge corner of a Tupperware container with chili. But the thing that made it Oscar and made it so credible to me was, <laughs> was how he spilled it on his knee. Not true. Let's just say for all you Jack yeah. Nicholson fans He's out not there, that messy. Jack Nicholson did not no. spill homemade chili 
on the floor. And when I found out that it was it was a dupe, and by the way, how uh, what woodies do people get when they can correct? Oh, they right? love it. When they love, yeah. love, love to correct. They when we've made it. a faux pas like that. And I think, Oscar, and I mean this sincerely, Yes. what I texted you was from the bottom of my heart. I... Uh, as soon as you got done with it, and, and Oscar got it out of the, uh, not out of the, the onion, he got it out of uh, a tabloid, right? Yeah, a yeah, tabloid. tabloid. The that Sun. Was, yeah, linked and to the, yeah. the Sun, it was, a, it was a link with the Sun. And I don't know if the Sun knew. I would think those organizations spent a little more time than we do. We were doing it on the fly. Oscar was doing that on the fly. Yes. It takes, in no way, took the funny out of it for me. No. It absolutely, but it's funny that that, that was an onion story. It might make it a little more funny. That Jack never spilled any chili on the court. That we at know the Lakers of. Game. That just was so funny. I thought the, the genius was that there was a Tupperware container. No, the genius oh, was really? that whoever photoshopped it put just enough on his shoe. <laughs> That's what really <laughs> yeah. got me. That would be. You know what? I would love to get somebody from the Onion one day, uh, but I can't even get a watch guy to call. No, <laughs> no. So, I mean, really, it's the uh, it's it's the kiss of death. I, uh, you know, I don't know what to do. Well, we, we've know. had... We have, I'm scraping we've had, now. I'm not asking for celebrities. Busy I'm B asking weekend. for, yeah. you know, yeah, busy B weekend, but it's still... Mm -hmm. No, it's just people that don't respond, and no. it's frustrating to me. I'll you reach know? out to the uh, Onion, and we'll see. They've, they've, they've got a big staff. We no, should have a, somebody else do it, just because you're busy. Uh, we can't talk about it, but you're busy. No, I, had, I, I mean, you, you've that, had a weekend. It's something so, I can do. Uh, I can do this. Uh, but anywho, I have to say that, uh, you know, it still was funny at the end of the day. And the condom of spaghetti, I did not like it. And I will have gross. bad luck. So yeah, okay. it's, it uh, symbolizes to me something else. It looks right. like, uh, mm. like an Amber Heard incident. So yeah. I have to tell <laughs> you about my, uh, yeah. so my Friday night um, is flag football. And we've lost the last two games. And this is a team that you won You should clarify their games. that it's your son playing, not you. It's my son playing flag football. And yeah. we uh, won a lot of games last year, won the championship. And then we go, oh, and uh, two, we, we lose two in a row. And the frustrating thing is everybody's getting a little pissy. Uh, and my son's getting less playing time, uh, playing just on defense. And so I'm getting a little irritated because you're out there uh, – you know, for two and a half hours on a Friday night, and what uh, was was really kind of joyous has turned into kind of a uh, a drag. Yeah, and I was very vocal about it. I mean, I said this is flag football, and this is uh, you know, if we were setting the world on fire, otherwise, let all the kids get a little offense out there. And I'm bitching, and I'm bitching was he loudly. not the MVP last year at points? He was. Uh, he, one game, he was. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, mean give but the thing about time. it, I was so I'm frustrated and I'm sad. Did and he then, miss a few practices? What's that? Was no, being they don't practice. That's the problem. They, oh. they practice before the game. Practice. That may be a problem. Oh. So I'm Talking bitching loudly because I'm like, this is what's the point of it? You don't want to sit there for the whole no. offensive series. Tell me my kids getting to play. Kids. Send me a signal. I won't come. And yeah. it seems like there's a certain group of kids. And if they were setting the world on fire, I'd say, well, I get it. That's how it works. And let them play defense. And my son's good on defense. Yeah. But I was bummed. And then we left. So then I get a uh, text that maybe uh, – they're they're down a couple of quarterbacks, so maybe he'll get some QB time. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And there's a double header Friday night, so we'll see if he gets uh, some QB time. Uh, but, so practice you know, and two games in one night? Well, I, I don't know if they're going to pull it that way. I don't think they can. I think God. they just show up. Can you advocate uh, for, for him? That'll be a nine o'clock wrap up time, by the way. I think you got to advocate at seven. for him. Kids, I did, I did, okay. and I did Kids loudly, but I did night. it in a cagey way where yeah. uh, you know me. If I'm not bitching, I'm breathing, but yeah. I'm bitching loudly so certain is people a, are going to hear is it, it. A dad? not the coaches because the coaches are on the other yeah. side but friends of the coaches yeah. and mm -hmm. wives of the coaches are right there and then i got this text which i thought was kind of interesting but a lot of people felt the same way a lot of parents that were what was the going, text what are, we, what are we doing uh one quarterback's down the other one's having some problems how about would he be willing to i'm like yes yes i said I think I texted yes, yes, and yes. Yes, uh, yeah. we didn't. I was bummed we didn't see him on offense uh, at all. And he's not a world beater. I don't think. I think when I'm a I'm a realist when it comes to athletic prowess. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I wish more parents were. And I think when you go to watch any competitive little league sport with your kids, you have a potential that maybe on a great lucky day, one kid in the league. 
will get to a decent college program. Mm-hmm. Okay? Based on that, I'm yes, not talking yeah. about pro. It is very in in most little leagues. I think that's the way it rolls. So I'm completely realistic. So what I like now, though, is to see fun, and fun is the best thing to have. And then, of course, when they get older, gets more serious, and then it's more of a meritocracy. And by the way, if you're saying, "Oh, is that right, Mike? Everybody gets a trophy?" No, mm-hmm. no. I just want them to get an employee. So when you uh, reach out to we'll the coaches' uh, wives, are most of them like Sandra Bullock in uh, The Blind Side? No, unfortunately not. My no. nephew, uh, darn. Luca, um, in high school, Mike, I don't say for ad- advocate for him because, let me mention this, because I saw my, my sister advocate for Luca to play. Mm-hmm. And uh, and we, this is high lie? Or what, this is what, soccer, soccer. Okay. Thank you. Um, <laughs> high lie. He stopped playing high lie when they left Florida. <laughs> I understand. Uh, Still so, remember the jingle from Connecticut, Rob. Milford high lie. <laughs> So, Milford, Connecticut. <laughs> she, she, go. <laughs> she said that he doesn't miss any practice and he doesn't get any playing time. And mm-hmm. I said, well, maybe he's just not good at soccer. Uh, and Oh, I bet that litter candle. Well, I'm not. <laughs> I, just, I like you. to be a realist. I know you do. Oh, right? You're the realist of the show. Oh, you're, yes. the, you're, you're, you're Debbie Downer on the show. Oh, more, no, more than I, I, don't, I like to be know? happy when we're happy. Like, well, maybe it'd be worth a little. <laughs> <laughs> and then this little effort got some playing time. Good. Well, yeah. no, I think you and I, you're an advocate for everything. Yes. Um, but My I dad advocated for me when I was in high school. He said, let the boy play some character parts. <laughs> he can't just be a great oak. <laughs> He's not an extra. <laughs> he is not an extra. <laughs> I'd never put you in an extra role. I'd have you out front. So why, why you've always yeah, Mr. been you know, the old Don and Mike show. We let Rob uh, open always. Because Rob's a performer, so let him get out on and that beloved. stage every oh, t- Tip of the cap to t- the TMOS fan club. Oh, I heard you had quite a late Spent night. a wonderful yeah, I, evening with them. I didn't even them. respond to you. said, why don't you join me? Yeah, I, yeah. Was, I was walking to bed when my phone did. Yeah. I said, this well, is... he's in his wheelhouse. I said, it was 9.30 you... p.m. when I texted you, That's, you guys. Well, I knew you had right. to bed. Yeah, I said, it's all I you, baby. I knew you'd had a toddy no, or two. It's, it's a game of the phone. Join me. <laughs> Wasn't that what it Hello? was? Fellas, join me. Hello? Oh. Cable guy. Cable guy. Cable guy. Cable guy. No, um, no. Anywho, it was. Uh, I'm glad you did that. We've yeah. all done it. Any and great highlights uh, from the meeting? Because I know you were there until when they got down to the the meaty core of the yeah, group. Yeah, I, I. Oh, I know that you, Mike, hate the listeners. <laughs> and that is so untrue. And I have I, what? I may have been the second one. Rob was the first. And I, I, I may I may have been the I, second I am, person to join I, a Zoom call. I am teasing. <laughs> On my own, by the I, way, I, like you did. I say but that. But I know you're like me in that respect, and I know it takes just a little motivation. I say and that. And that motivation comes in a bottle. Correct. There it goes. I say that yes. in a teasing manner. Mm-hmm. Funny, I, I haven't done one in quite some time now that you say that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, I get it. The group is just a, it's a phenomenal group. They're, They're great people. And I took the time to um, support what also we do. discuss just how they like the structure of the bonus show. Uh, we just had, we had some wonderful, wonderful They voted to keep to Pony. They voted to keep Pony, right? Um, what their plans, yeah, what they like Pony. To keep uh, me alive. What their plans are for Nola. It, it's just, it was fun to feel that excitement again because we just, I haven't done it in a while. I know you all have yeah. already, so it was nice. And we're was nice. super excited nice, about yeah. April 15th yeah. uh, yes. for uh, the House of Blues in New Orleans, Louisiana. Get your tickets soon. Uh, we, you know, I think that... Um, it's it's always nice to to interact, and um, I, I just didn't want to do that with you. There. No, First I texted all, Captain I, I think Steve. That's he didn't answer. Your, that's uh, that's you texted uh, Steve. I texted uh, they, Steve was asleep for two hours they, when you called. They him. said they've been trying to book Captain Steve for months. Yeah, I'm surprised, I'm surprised he wouldn't surprised, do it. Surprised well, maybe guess. he doesn't roll that way. Maybe that's not. If how you don't call be. his show, he doesn't come on. And I don't I think, think he knows. It. I don't think he knows how to zoom. That's you're probably right. That's not true. The yeah. man is out of his own internet streaming station. No, he, knows yeah, he, does. he streams and he yeah. does a good I job. Uh, it's a good I think I'm muted. Angle. Think I'm muted. <laughs> <laughs> so what was your before you and and by the way, if you had just gone on the Zoom call, I would have said, "Oh, that's okay. That's a real nice thing," and I wouldn't have called him for you know adult beverages. But as soon as we said, "Come on, join me," yeah. Yeah, I knew there were yeah. some uh, adult beverages going on mm-hmm. and. Uh, what was the uh, beverage of choice that evening? No, uh, as you were zooming, bourbon, rye <laughs> bourbon, right? Oh, rye. Yeah, that's rye. not that's Ooh. out of your wheelhouse. What brand? 
I, don't I hate to get I, so I don't, excited. I don't know enough about it. I just went whistle pig. Wh- whatever was like, no, no, no more. That's too expensive. Bullet? No, I don't mess okay. with that. No, nah, angel eye or angel and Oh, that sounds good. Does, is know. the bottle plastic? No, it was gla- <laughs> it was glass. It was on sale. I was like, I'll take it. So Oscar did the Zoom call and yeah. uh, wanted us uh, all to join him, and uh, I actually uh, clicked on the link and then got off it right away because I thought. I was going to look in. Oh, they'd know you realize, were there. They'd see you. Well, they might have seen me like really, really rapidly. I looked like, uh, <laughs> you know, S on Shinola. Uh, and then that led me into um, Saturday. You running and away. <laughs> Saturday uh, will we'll go down as one of the, uh, between the lack of playing time on Friday yes. and just Saturday and stuff going on, uh, and then uh, it was really when you, when you when you wake up on Sunday morning and you say, "Well, this is really a crappy weekend." Uh, that's when you know things are going well. I uh, watching my beloved, and I because I by till Sunday late. morning it's too late to fix it. Yeah, it's done. <laughs> yeah, and I by the way, and I'm knowing that I've got an auction to do on uh, Sunday night. That I will be out doing, yeah, and it's it's work. It's yeah. I mean, you never know how you're going to be received. So there's that anxiety there that makes for I am just. Did you use the joke the Giants, I wrote you? <coughs> no, I did not introduce myself as George Santos. Oh, you missed out. <laughs> what was that Carla's joke? I forget. That was mine. It was, it was, it was Rob's. yours. Yeah. Uh, so uh, when the Giants were finally blown out, probably in the first half, we knew they were going to lose. I am just. Tommy Tampon. Salty. I am yeah. not a nice man. I am not happy. I am yelling at my kid. I'm saying to my wife, just go. Just go. She goes, I'm an attorney. I said, yeah, just go. 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 I, I, that's how I said goodnight to her because I'm sitting there in my easy chair, in my misery, uh, with my Giants gear on and just miserable. But Did you have a once- small child Giants helmet on? Like I, Goldie? Uh, yes, I did. A, a <laughs> tiny one. Like Goldie. <laughs> And by the way, the big blue came out uh, at the kids' game on Friday night. I was looking at people around. Uh, The Giants fandom, you know, New York fans, you give them a winner, and they start to go bat s. Of course. You won't see any evidence of them until that moment. But they they went nuts. And so I know they're going to lose. They are (laughs) exposed as a – I know they're going to lose. How did you feel going into the game? I felt uh, as though they're – was a uh, an over, overwhelmingly large chance they would lose. Okay, but you're telling me there's a chance yeah, because sure. it's on any given Sunday. Yeah, right? and they made it that far. Yeah, and I mean, yeah, and it was a great season for them. Mm-hmm. No matter win or lose, even when you say that to yourself, you're trying to self hypnotize. You know, win or lose, what a great season! But that doesn't count when it's a complete blowout. Right. When it is what I like to call a drubbing <laughs> a drubbing uh-huh. and that just nobody uh-huh. wants it you don't want to see your team done at halftime which they essentially were or the I end of the first quarter there was another comeback win uh i think in the first round with uh, jacksonville yeah. but this time and the giants just and by the way all and look i know within the giants faithful there is this big back and forth about the quarterback, Daniel Jones. Yeah. All right. I was a Daniel Jones guy. Uh, I was not a Daniel Jones guy. Yeah, I was guy. like, wait a second. Yeah. I, I was not. And then I'm saying to myself, well, that's, you know, maybe things have turned around. And then he reverted back to his usual self and uh, lost a contact. Uh, and first of all, I said, I, I look over at my wife in the middle of the game and I'm like, he wears glasses? Uh, and then somebody oh, last night me, told me at the auction, to go out there and play the game. I, uh, at the auction, somebody tells me he's not alone. A lot of the yeah, guys, yeah, yeah, a ton of the guys, which did, I, yeah. which I, I had absolutely no idea. I just see him over on the side going, "I've got it." And then they just got the crap kicked out of him. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, it was over, and so you're just sitting there watching, riding it out, Philadelphia, sod that city. You know, go nuts. But out of this, because hating, let me tell you about sports, especially the NFL. It, you see it all the time. And this is for, oh, I like the young people. Pass this along Please. to the young people, yeah. all right? I'm not a big believer in pure hatred, but hatred 
uh, if your team's not winning, hatred can make you enjoy the NFL more. Sure. If you're having trouble and you're like, I just can't get excited. Mm -hmm. The team from my neighborhood or my region of the country is just a terrible team. Well, what you do is you take a team that uh, that's winning mm -hmm. and you find something or someone, in this case, uh -oh. to really, really hate. Really hate. Yeah. Okay? And uh, I was um, oblivious to this individual before the game. But I am here to tell you, after watching that crash landing, yes. uh, an obnoxious head coach, Nick Sirianni <laughs> of the Philadelphia Eagles. And by the way, off the field, press conferences, other little moments, maybe walking down the tunnel he's been obnoxious to. Sure. But during a game, so totally and completely obnoxious that I would like to share with my West Coast fans yes. out there. I would like to say to you, folks, you Niners fans out there in the Bay Area and in Sacramento, I have to say to you, I'm all in. I am I am bleeding Niners gold because I want to see a drop. I don't think it's going to necessarily happen, but that guy, because of Nick Sirianni, mm. a lot of the, hey, hey, we're doing well, yeah, look at us, yeah. <laughs> Hands up in the air, giggling, laughing on the F you, Sirianni. F you, okay? He did why'd, you, why'd you win? Why did you win with a little dignity? He's known for being um, obnoxious. Obnoxious, you know, overcompensating. Maybe, maybe wants the Thank world you. to think he has high T, but he doesn't. <laughs> wow. I don't yeah, pushing like his own coaches around, telling, I don't yelling like at them. Him at that's all. Not, that's not, I uh, don't care for the man. And but I good was for you pissed. for finding yeah. a silver lining, Mike. Oh, it's great. So I go into, I am, uh, what's it, next, uh, next Sunday, 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 yeah. Sunday, at Sunday. 3 p.m. Yes. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thank you for Sunday at 3 p.m. You know, none of the, by the way, 6 o'clock was, was, was absolutely doable. Oh, it was great. Yeah. yeah. And Saturday night, 8.30, mm -hmm. fine. Yeah. Down with that. Don't do I hate the 8.30 You're going to have the, uh, 3 o'clock next, next, uh, next week, Mike, and then 6.30 p.m. So 3 o'clock you'll we'll have uh, the Niners uh, Eagles. Cincinnati uh, and Cincinnati uh, and taking Chiefs. on Kansas City. Yeah. No, thank you. Mike, two okay. great Don't cities. Don't drive through that part of the world. Don't need to root for their football teams. What's that? Two great cities. Yes. And they each yes. deserve greatness. Yes, the yeah. Cincinnati, Ohio, yeah. on to uh, Kansas City, Missouri. Yes. Felt, felt bad for the Bills. Uh, oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah, but the it was all, it was it was not nearly as bad a drubbing as the Giants. But uh, I don't know, man. It yeah, just I seemed think of Jimmy. I think odd. of you know the, what the Bills team went through overall. And, yeah, yeah, I know. And I cool know. that uh, I, the player was there. Yeah, yeah. Well, was, yeah. I was try. I was texting Jimmy. I was at the auction that I was doing last night, and then. Uh, <laughs> and then somebody uh, gra somebody what? grabbed me and Johnny ADD didn't finish his text. It's still probably in my phone. Well, how far did you get? Let me see. Maybe, oh, that's Do you ever happy really that Demar Hamlin made it to the team, made it back, uh, to, you know, to the field, Isn't to that the beautiful? studio? First that was beautiful. Yeah, yeah it was. beautiful. And isn't it nice that Buffalo really rallied for him and stunk up the joint? <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, but next to next to my Giants, I flip over to Buffalo. And get to root for them. Right. And, uh, you know, Joe Burrow, though, super stud. Yeah. Super yeah. stud QB. That's the way that That guy goes. definitely has high T. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. That's, that, and, that, uh, that matters a lot to you somehow. Yeah, when you have no T. Yeah. You, none you, none you, tea. you celebrate those I have. Coffee, tea, or... In Red Pony? No. Yeah, totally. Yeah. No, I didn't even get it. I didn't even get it started. Yeah. Sometimes you uh, thought you were going to write your friend, and then you uh, got yeah, you, you might have deleted it. I don't like him though. I don't need him. Uh, like when you don't my like team's Jimmy? losing, I don't want. No, I love Jimmy. Uh, yeah. I just don't want. I don't want. Uh, you don't want you. I don't want Rob. I, I didn't want, write you. Don't, don't, I was like, I'm not writing him right no, no, now. No, no, no. Guy for that. I when I saw that. the score, I turned my phone off. Just I didn't even want to accidentally text you. Yeah, I was like, I'm not writing him. <laughs> Someone's grumpy. <laughs> yeah, but I saw the one guy. Somebody do a welfare check on Mike O'Mara yeah. with the Philly logo. Fuck you. <laughs> was it Chris Freights? I don't know who it was. No, it was not Chris <laughs> yeah, Freights. Chris was a and it wasn't Wenzel. <laughs> It wasn't Wenzel. My, Wenzel seemed to handle it with dignity and class. My yeah. my my wife's the entire family claims the Eagles. Yeah, uh, why? So her, cause her, why? They, They're cause from her mom, Maryland. But no, her mom grew up outside of uh, Philly. Oh, really? Yeah, makes All a lot right. of sense yeah. now. 
Well, my daughter is now a Philadelphia. My daughter, Catherine, because she took up with Dennis. Isn't Dennis from a, Jersey, uh, though? He's from the Jersey. Yeah, from he, the should, he should Jersey claim the metal yeah. yeah, A lot of those Cherry Hill, yeah. Princeton yeah, this, people yeah, come that, on. Uh, you know, come on. You're a Giants fan. I grew up in Camden. Right. <laughs> Camden's I might text close. Her. I, I might just. No, that's awfully cruel. To be yeah, adult. don't. don't. I have to be, sometimes I have to be adult. No, I will. I'll text them both Go Niners right before yeah. the game starts. I'm sorry. Yes, I have to should. do what I do. Uh, go Niners, anywho, Dennis. <laughs> listen, I want to, before we go to break, I did want to mention um, the auction that I did last night. Please. And the organization that I had the uh, hey, honor. All right, sir. Here we go there. What are they going to give for? I'm a $600 down here now. 10 and now. 20. Actual now, tape. Another 50 now. 60. Will they give me 60 now? 75. 75. Another 85 dollars on the bottom there. <laughs> there was uh, a boy in our. <laughs> I love that song. So, uh, as Oscar has so eloquently discussed uh, on this show, we as radio people, as podcast people, as people with microphones, we are often called upon to assist in uh, events. uh, And as far as our roles, a lot of times we get to do auctions. And you do them. Uh, because people want you to, and it's not that much of an effort. And what it is is a little butterflyish regarding your self-esteem. Yep. Because no matter what, and by the way, the auction is as good as the people who are bidding. That's the bottom line. Yep. That's what truly, truly matters. So, but you know, if you can compartmentalize the activity, you can say to yourself, "Well, I'm going to do the best I can." I have trouble with that, and I always suffer a little minor anxiety prior because I think that you know they want you to do something special to jog people and get them. And sometimes you can, and sometimes you can, and sometimes you are, uh, you know, you you have a wonderful evening, and sometimes most of the time you have an average evening, and sometimes you can have a special evening. Mm-hmm. Well, in the case of last night, uh, even though the the bidding process and all of the actually live event itself was probably not, uh, you know, overwhelmingly uh, phenomenal. The organization was, and I wanted to share it with you Please. because they are uh, they are deserving of your attention. Okay, uh, this is a, a a an organization called Home Base, and they are dedicated to healing uh, the invisible wounds of war mm. uh from veterans of all eras that's just another great thing they do it doesn't matter when you serve it doesn't matter how old you are mm-hmm. uh service members military families families of the fallen uh they have clinical care direct clinical care wellness education and research all at no cost to them and they help people that have been through hell and back and they are phenomenal people to do it and uh, the thing I love about it is it's regardless of the era of service and uh, regardless of discharge status or geographical location. Mm. And they have a branch of it down here in uh, southwest Florida, and they're an organization uh, up in Boston as well, and they just do great things for vets. And there was just a wonderful testimonial by a service member. And, you know, I think that when we see people that are – traumatized with uh, losing a limb or a brain injury or they're struggling. We see somebody who was hurt. We don't necessarily acknowledge them as somebody who was wounded. And a lot of these guys are wounded. So I was just honored. uh, And I don't think I've ever said, yes, I'll see you next year as quickly as I did to uh, General Dyer, my friend who I play golf with, and uh, said that it would be a pleasure because it was just a wonderful group of people that did this, and Happy Valley was uh, was teeming with life. And, uh, and you know, I, I said, I, I, the only joke I probably said, I think I may have started the evening with, good evening, I'm Mike O'Mara, and I have a weight problem. And, uh, <laughs> and that, how did it play? Funny. Crickets. It's always crickets. Oh, it's a, oh, it doesn't man. work. It doesn't work. It, does, it, won't, it wouldn't work unless I did an auction at uh, the House of Blues. 
the right. people that know me and get my shtick. Yeah. Uh, and Rob, I, I would have I, loved I to use your I'd line, laugh. but that wouldn't have done it. Yeah, that's but true. really, uh, just, it's a tremendous exercise in reading the room because there's it, just stuff. Well, that you won't do the play. best you can, yeah. and they were. And 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 by the way, we raised a lot of money for Great. home base last night, and I was really thrilled with it. And Carla got to do a, a Vanna White thing where she held up some of the items and wa- walked the whole room, so she was there with me. And did she enjoy herself people. doing that? Uh, yes, yeah, she did. She had a fun good. time. She good. had a fun time, and we. Uh, you know, we uh, rewarded ourselves with a uh, little bad eating when we got home. Oh. So uh, that was fine. And, uh, well, that's my health. We'll get to that on a, another episode, perhaps. But that's great. Homebase.org, uh, I believe, is if you want to check it I'm out. I'm on now. And uh, make a donation and congrats, uh, to Mike, them. Congrats, Mike. great and when you can pull it on. And it's great when you're actually promoting a valid organization that you care about. Really fun yeah. uh, to be a part of that and really honored to be uh, a part of that and the people that helped. And it's a small group we had. Uh, and they, they did their bit and it really was, you know, people that are giving up a Sunday evening to, uh, be out there and supporting it. Yes. Do they have fun? Do they have a golf sure. tournament? Yes, they do. Do they have a, a, a beautiful meal? They do that as well. But man, oh man, uh, ultimately it's uh, bidding, it's participating and raising money for a wonderful operation home base so check them out and i hope you like that we got to take a break and uh, we will come back with more fun and more thrills you are listening to the mike omera show and a little later on in the program it'll be the oscar santana travelogue as he uh, takes it. his mama e papa to uh, various locations that you may not know of in our nation's capital mm-hmm. we'll be right back with more on the mike omera show Here are some of the stories we're working on tonight for the night side. After an all-new T.J. Hooker at 11, residents in West South Florida are up in arms over an invasion of rattlesnakes. I I wasn't sure what to do. I seen it. I heard it. Then I seen it. Then I got the raid. The Energy Department responds to consumer inquiries of using air conditioners in garages. And I wrote back, kindly off. In our weekly visit with a shade tree mechanic, we have tips on what to do with those leftover automotive fluids you find in the garage. Do not drink it. And Colonel Dirk is in the weather center with a look at the weekend forecast. It's cold as f***. Catchy stories and more, <laughs> along with the Mike O'Mara Show on Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, and at MikeO'MaraShow.com. Oh, my God. Uh, welcome back to the show. Think of the time and money your family invested to film family vacation. Mm. Yes. You know, back in my day, when I went on my first family vacation, my dad would have to get Matthew Brady on the phone. <laughs> Matthew Brady! <laughs> and, uh, you know, get him out there, and it was all the smoke from the flash. Uh, anyway, football games, birthdays, weddings, all of the weddings. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Rob. <laughs> Recording these memories was a commitment. <laughs> Camcorders cost thousands of dollars. <laughs> Tapes were expensive. Yes. Cameras required film and development. Uh, Legacy Box exists to preserve your family's recorded moments digitally, uh, ensuring that they're safe forever. I remember buying a top-of-the-line video camera back in the day, but now it's uh, it's obsolete yeah. and mm-hmm. made of wood. No, it's not I, uh, made of wood. I wasn't sure if I could ever watch those tapes again, but thanks to Legacy Box, I can watch my little girls when they were actually little Aww. girls. Yeah. It's like magic, and you realize when you look at those films, folks, that uh, you know time is fleeting. Yes. Okay? Be aware of that. We've all used Legacy Box, and we all love it. Legacy Box is a super simple mail-in service to have all of your videotapes, camcorder tapes, film reels, and pictures converted to perfectly preserved digital files, keeping them safe forever. You owe it to your family to safeguard your memories. Don't let your photos continue to fade. Become your family's hero and save them before it's too late. Buy a Legacy Box today. Visit LegacyBox.com slash TMOS to take advantage of this exclusive offer. That's LegacyBox.com slash TMOS. And thank you, Legacy Box. From the four corners of the World Wide Web and into your digital device, it's what you need to know. This is the homepage. This is the homepage, ladies and gentlemen. And we begin today with uh, Buzz Aldrin. Buzz Aldrin uh, turned 93 on Friday, and uh, he celebrated by getting hitched. God bless him. He got married. Idiot, Buzz idiot. Aldrin. What? Idiot. Well, if that's like, that man what, was what, one what, of our heroes. Yeah, one of our you. national heroes, he's finally, Rob. He's 94. He's finally single. Live it up. 
Uh, High tea. The lucky lady is uh, <laughs> Dr. Anka Faur. That's a strange name. What's Dr. the name? Anka Faur. Anka? A-N-C-A-F-A-U-R. Anka Fur or Faur. Yeah. Uh, she's executive vice president of Buzz's company, Buzz Aldrin Ventures. She is 63, my age. Uh, 30 years younger than Buzz. Mm-hmm. Uh, in a tweet announcing the wedding, Buzz called her his longtime love. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't love wonderful? I suppose. Special. Yeah. Uh, she is his fourth wife. Uh, his third marriage ended in divorce in uh, 2012. This is the first time old. he's married an, an earthling. I don't know why you're picking on Buzz Aldrin. <laughs> yeah, but he's you a are. great American hero. You know, By the Robbie way, his wife doesn't look 63. She looks like she's in her 50s. She's very or, lovely. Or 40s, for that matter. Uh, Buzz was the second man to walk on the moon after Neil Armstrong when the Apollo 11 mission landed on a July 20th, 1969. One small step for man, one He's in great giant shape. leap. Uh, and his new wife, Dr. Anka Fowler, uh, apparently she'll be looking forward to her own countdown <laughs> real soon. Uh, that's. I'm sorry. That was not kind. That Mike. was not kind. I should have Only said Oscar Couldn't has exhibited have. the proper respect. Yes, I know. I had to do it. I could not control myself. To pair uh, Aldrin. A <laughs> lot of Jeremy Renner in the news this yes. weekend. He broke over 30 bones uh, in that snowplow accident on New Year's Day. He shared a photo of himself receiving medical attention to his legs. He said, quote, morning workouts, resolutions, all changed this particular New Year's. Spawned from tragedy for my entire family and quickly focused into uniting actionable love. I want to thank everyone for their messages and thoughtfulness for my family and I. These 30 plus broken bones will mend, grow stronger, just like the love and bond with family and friends deepens. Love and blessings to all. Very, very that's easily nice. could have died in that accident. And uh, really, that's a, that's a terrific Miracle. story. Wish him yep. well. It's going it, to be a long haul. It says haul. here that Buzz Aldrin broke 30 bones during the proposal. <laughs> okay, thank you, Rob. Get out of one moment. Yes. Rob, <laughs> we are finger. Damn talent. Uh, anyway. <laughs> uh, if you've been sucking these down and thought you could really handle your booze, Slow down, Pachango. Oh, no. Not so fast. The makers of Fireball Whiskey are being sued because some of their mini bottles don't actually contain whiskey. What is this? This is Pitbull's song, Fireball. It's the anthem. (laughs) I love Pitbull. Fireball. (laughs) Uh, Fireball. Anything you buy, thank you. Anything you buy at a liquor store probably does have whiskey in it, but in states where gas stations and grocery stores can't sell liquor, uh, they've also been selling another version. To get around the laws, they lowered the alcohol content and changed the label. So if you go into a convenience store and you think you're getting the real fireball yeah. for your for your drive home, uh, they look just like normal mini bottles, but instead of fireball cinnamon whiskey, the label says fireball cinnamon. And uh, they only cost a buck. I've so seen them, and I, I've wondered about that, how they got around the Why log. have you wondered? You're not supposed to wonder. You've got people stealing your beer. You're wondering about them. I worry about you. Steady I worry as about a rock. Look day. at this. I just Very want to know good. how they're getting one over on me. And besides, well, I had to buy claims... Fireball to make the fruitcakes this year. So okay. You did? Oh, really? You yeah. put Fireball in them? Yeah. That's kind of cool. I yeah. didn't know that. It's, it's uh, nature uh, soaked the them, suck them raisins in that. Thank you. Uh, this lawsuit <laughs> claims they didn't make it clear... But it's not the real stuff. Uh, normal Fireball is 66 proof. Can, That's 33 percent alcohol. Can, can I clarify, just so you know? Yeah. The, the only the only fruit cakes that had any alcohol in them were the, were from Rob's oh, private. Oh, my personal stock. ones. Yeah, not the ones just that to we clarify sold. Yeah. To everybody. Yeah, it was. It yeah, was yeah otherwise he would have broken the law and <laughs> just admitted to it. Yeah. Because he has the head of a mallet. Uh, I mean, check the ingredient list. We list everything. There's no fireball in our Sort of clarify. Fireball. (laughs) Why is that so tinny? I don't know. It's just... Is that like a a bad recording of it? No, it's just just what I pulled off YouTube because I had on you might do this today. The gas station version uh, is a malt beverage with whiskey flavoring. Ew. Uh, That's only 33 proof. Or 16.5% alcohol. If you really want to sell something, you got to describe it in a sexy way. And when you say to me, gas station fireball, that yeah. sounds good. 
it's uh, kind of nasty, yeah. in my opinion. Please. But uh, who knows, you know? A 45-year-old woman in Louisiana named Temetrica Cones was uh, a temporary cafeteria worker at a high school when she was accused of selling homemade baked goods laced with marijuana. Oh. Uh, and yes, uh, it was apparently happening at the school, not as a side hustle. She uh, sold to at least one student. It sounds like they knew what they were getting. She was caught when another student found out and notified the authorities. The authorities will run you right out of town. Uh, they Madonna! Know through, they went through Crime Stoppers to get her. Mm. Uh, Timetrica, what a great name, was arrested last week. It's facing charges, but there aren't any details on the uh, size of the operation she was running. But they went through Crime Stoppers, but unfortunately, before they were able to arrest her, McGruff the Crime Dog was eating Funyuns. Yeah, he, he took a bite out of a brownie. <laughs> Uh, and now a little something, something from my hometown. Authorities are asking the public to help identify the man who broke into a Joe's Crab Shack in Fort Myers, mm. stole items, and then pooped on the floor before he left. Oh. The man broke into Joe's Crab Shack in Fort Myers, Florida, around 2.30 a.m. on Saturday. Uh, I swear to God, I woke up to this in my local feed. And I said, hey, we've got the kicker. Before it goes national. A surveillance camera caught him climbing through a small window. There's some good pictures of the dude. Uh, he then stole multiple items before defecating on the floor oh. prior to leaving the scene. The man was first seen with a white shirt, but then he was seen wearing a Joe's Crab Shack t-shirt and a hat that he stole from the merch section at Joe's. The uh, suspect hasn't been caught yet. Something you might want to keep in mind if you're at Joe's and thinking about ordering one of their crab buckets with fresh corn. Oh, go. God. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bada bing, bada boom. I, I listen, when I get a story like that, I go right to the menu. <laughs> they have a crab bucket. Oh, oh, I know. Items yeah. is fresh corn. <laughs> yum, yum. Love in my tummy. Right. We'll uh, take a break and come it's back calm. and talk about uh, DC for you uh, tour on. Something <laughs> real special is coming. Uh, yeah. There's lots to celebrate on the latest bonus show. We've hit 3,000 like Pete Rose. We need sun lamps in every single home in America. <laughs> but for 3,000, I'm lucky to have you guys, and I'm very lucky to have our wonderful listeners. If you want fun and jocularity, you bring Rob. If you want execution and a job well done, you bring me. I'm come. right He's here. Out. I have a name. You know, sometimes I think about 3,000 shows, and I wonder how the F I actually made it. <laughs> Mike, but I got the, a bad case of being a sleepy. There is a chance that you will receive a commemorative 3,000 show pin. Get a bonus show subscription <laughs> and celebrate today. All you need to do is to send two box tops and the coupon from this Sunday's Parade magazine. Subscribe now at MikeOmeraShow.com Any ideas for 3,000? Anything, anything special planned? Anything, oh, I've got a uh, full uh, asset dump here that we're going to put up on, uh, on the web. Yeah, we're going to also do an asset dump at uh, Joe's Crab yeah. Shack. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a lot of us the wrong are, word. Please. A, a lot of us are Drop. stuck in our homes, offices, and routines, wondering mm. what else is out there, but feeling like it takes too much time and too much effort to explore. But now you can discover it all with fun, fast, and foldable electric e-bikes. Woo! Woo! Mm -hmm. From quick errands to outdoor adventures, electric e-bikes will transform how you get around. They cost way less than the competition with quality, feature-filled models financed as low as $133 per month. You can go up to 45 miles on a charge. You can reach up to 28 miles per hour. <laughs> there goes Oscar. With a power, powerful 500-watt <laughs> motor, which is now quieter with more torque for more power with less noise. Plus, electric e-bikes are foldable. They ship free. They are fully assembled. You'll be on the road in no time. I love fully assembled. A stronger rear rack supports everything you need for day-to-day -day rides or longer trips. Oscar, all over the district. Love he him. loves it. We're going to talk about him. it in a so, second. So much, so much that my brother loves it so much that the first one he got yeah. is he, he purchased another one for their beach house. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. And really, two out of five doctors say it's the best electric <laughs> e-bike out there. No. Yeah. I'm sorry, that was not true. I mean, there are two the, doctors. The yes, other three, but say Chudentine. It's a good survey. Uh, 
But and by the way, parking is uh, a breeze when you have sure. to right. get out of there and make this year your most adventurous one yet with electric e bikes. Visit electricebikes.com to learn more. That's L E C T R I C E bikes.com. And uh, they're really special. And go get one. They're a supporter of our show. Yes, okay, need please. I say anything more? Thank you. Uh, Oscar was uh, very excited because he does belong in the city. Yes. And uh, occasionally, he will have friends come into the city. Occasionally, he will show people around. And uh, you do like to get out and about in our nation's capital more than anybody else on the show Mm -hmm. and more than anybody that that I've ever known. Uh, Yeah. Because you're a city dweller, and that's a rarity to have a city dweller. You want to leave your home to do things. He grabs the the city by the scruff of the neck, shakes it, and takes advantage of it. My life's gone full circle because now I I don't just... Well, and and mind you, this is this is post pandemic, right? We're just starting to go out again, right? And while we're still in the pandemic, I get that. But I'm saying just having the ability to go out in crowds and not be completely scared anymore mm-hmm. is mm-hmm. something different. I agree. I agree. <laughs> I don't smell anything. <laughs> no, I got and my own health problems. My, we'll talk about that tomorrow. Mm-hmm. My father is in town for a few more weeks, and we had such a good time going out to the Peterson Automotive Museum in oh, that's Los right. Angeles. Yeah. Oh, that's right. You you like walking around and yeah. seeing the sights. That's and cool. I, I, you want to see your parents happy. My dad's 83, I think, now. God so bless him. it's hard to find things that make him happy, and it's good for him to get the steps in to walk around. Yeah. So I invited him out to the International Spy Museum with my wife and I, and we I'd been before because we'd done work with them. Sure. Uh, for, here at Podville, been around for a long time. The Spy Museum, and they're good people. Yes. Down there. Second their, location now. This right? is their new museum yeah. that opened right before the pandemic started. So it's a completely different experience. Four or five floors. It's just gorgeous. Yeah, I, I this went is to a brand a, new. Where, where is the brand new location of the Spy Museum? It's um. This is Manassas. No, no, it's it's <laughs> it's right in front of the U.S. Postal the the U.S. Department of uh, or what is the Postal Service, right? Yeah, yeah. And I guess for those of you not in the D.C. area, adjacent to the D.C. Wharf. Okay, the D.C. Wharf. Yes, which used to be the for some, my mom used to call it the D.C. Fish Market. The, oh, okay. Under the highway. Under the highway. Yes. Under the highway. Highway. Um. <laughs> <laughs> and my that's mom would say, no, the los pescados. Place. And I would yes, like. The fish market. Yeah. Mike. That's, I, a, I, it's a, that's, a, that's a weird area. The DC yeah. Wharf is not what it was when you left. They just completed it, t- they say 2017, 2018. Really, no one really, at least of, of, of my age, really knew about it until the Anthem opened up, which is a concert venue. Beautiful. Uh, is and that under the. It's in the, the DC road? Wharf, yes. So. Did it's that completely sort of different. Spear, did that did the anthem spearhead the regeneration of the neighborhood, or was that? Oh, part can of it? I just put for those of you around the country? Yeah. Let me see if I can get this straight. This place that Oscar's talking about, I remember as kind of a cramped, yes, uh, you know, correct. Some rusted old buildings where shrimp would be processed. Yeah, and Phillips fish was would there, be down there. A couple restaurants. Yeah, but 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 down the road. But I mean, yeah, it's a long. Yeah, it was area grimy. Down there. It was in Southwest. It's mm-hmm. completely okay. different now. Uh, it's different. Right. We were so impressed with the area because we went down. My, my, I wanted to show my father the wharf because he, he, he couldn't picture it and then walk up to the museum. So we had about an hour at the D.C. Wharf. Did you buy him some halibut? Is uh, there an actual wharf down there? Uh, they have said that you can still buy fish the way you used to. So but, there, if you may, but it's all modern, uh, modern Mike, buildings I sent you a now? link to your phone. Please all open right. it up. Okay. If you all haven't, right. because of the pandemic, for whatever reason... It's completely different. It's and and I we just haven't had a chance to talk about it here. But folks oh, should that, know that oh back in God, the day, like that's ultra modern. Yes, now. but that really was like a functioning, bring seafood yeah. in, process it. It was to also the marketplace. extremely dumpy. Yeah, Let's just of call course. It what well, it is. I mean, it was a it was a, yeah. a modern factory this, setting. Yeah, this looks to me like some of the modern cities that have developed. It's the a water. city within a city. Mm-hmm. Is that the Watergate in back of it? No, the Watergate's in a completely separate area of town. It looks like the Watergate. It looks nicer. Th- it's nicer than the Washington, the Georgetown uh, waterfront. I'll say that. Wow, and that's pretty nice. I. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty nice, Mike. I've been there. Rob, <laughs> Rob, I like it when you pretend to be excited about something. No, because I've been to the waterfront a couple times. I, can't I ho- would out. hope so. Yeah. So I'm trying to find the market. Oh, there it is. No, that's. Not I've it. got every high end restaurant in the world. It uh, does. Yeah, okay. I'll give you an example. You guys like food. Uh, I do. <laughs> The, uh, Me not so much. 
Okay, <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> the one that stuck out to me right Certainly now. Certainly not fish. <laughs> was the colada shop, which is like a, this can't it looked like a cantina of sorts. It just it's gonna be a lot of fun in the summer. The colada shop. Yeah, is this all day Cuban cafe has strong coffee, food, and cocktails made with a fl- with flair, with Cuban flavor and life. Right, a lot of fun. Mm. Then I scroll down and I'm like, okay, these are all seem some of these restaurants seem high end, very expensive. And then you scroll down, and you're like, okay, Gordon Ramsay's uh, Hell's Kitchen's gonna be there soon, opening soon. They, it just it was so over the top. They have an ice rink. They have an ice rink. For the cat, for the cats. Lord, what yeah. have they done to? Well, way to go, Washington. But, yeah. But Mike, I was like, oh, it can't be that expensive to live here. I was tired of my a condo, one bedroom, tiny. I'm sure. I, I just you, you're what? It's what do you think a one bedroom condo in that new development costs? Million dollars. Not one bedroom. Let's be honest. Uh, three hundred thousand dollars. Five hundred thousand dollars. Oh. Two bedrooms is one point two million, and I sat there and I said, "Like, yeah, you missed the boat. It should have been. You should have bought so during the speak. pandemic." I was like, "I liked it so much." I said, "George sounds the worst. I'm yeah. moving to the wharf." Yeah, and not not so much. Not Listen, so much. what they say. This what is what do they? Say? I don't need to give them a commercial, no. but I will. All right, the wharf is where DC meets. We celebrate diversity. We embrace humanity. We value black lives. Mm-hmm. We respect women. We stand with immigrants. We support the LGBTQ community. We are united with people of all faiths. We nurture people with disabilities. We encourage young people. We cherish seniors. We welcome everyone. Mm. You belong here. Whatever that ad agency that's doing that, that's a really, yeah. I love that. Yeah. That's fantastic. Felt safe, plenty of security. Wow. Um, so, so my dad walks around. He's like excited. He's like, oh, maybe we should get a born bedroom here. I was like, dad, you're retired. You, get, you know, let's be, let's be honest. What's going on here? I liked his spirit of opportunity and he liked, he loved the rejuvenation of the area. And I know we're late to this. You guys are like this Oscar, this opened four years ago. I get it. We, we, we three of yeah, our but years. You've seen it for the first yeah, time. Yeah, and three, you know what? It really is some beautiful yeah. city dwelling, but I mean, city places are always going to be. Expensive. Correct. We end up going into the museum. My wife doesn't know that my father actually reads every little. He likes to read everything that's on display in the museum. All the placards, yeah, plaques. By the way, I'm sorry for calling uh, Amaris, which is a condo complex, uh, the uh, the Watergate because this building is far more modern. Oh, it looks, the, uh, the works, right? You got outdoor pools. How is the security? Like that? That are that are. There's a pool in one of these buildings that has that's five stories up. It just has a straight view of the water in the park. Wow. It's just gorgeous. Yeah. It's like they brought Miami and forgot DC. Will you, would you ever sell the one you're in? And uh, Where we live now? Yeah. Yes. And as a realtor. Only if you could get someone as, to buy it. As a realtor said, you know, before you do anything, you actually have to put an oven back in this place. You do? Yeah. Yeah. Let's People see, look for that. Let's not go crazy. If you did um, that, if yeah. you tweaked. Yes. Couldn't you kind of make a, a, a of course yeah we could make, we could move in a heartbeat you could move yeah Have you but, thought but, about but it, i'm you know, risk of us we're building a business here once once this thing I takes understand, off you know but i'm saying that that if you sold where you live now yes you've been there long enough Correct. where you would probably five years uh, been there. realize five years. a bit of an appreciation oh yes sure. absolutely. Right? absolutely and that would allow you to move into the Correct. new new place yeah if I, it was- I, as i told my father i don't need more debt i'm good not so, that I'm so in debt. I, think, I just don't need. You know what I don't like, Mike? I don't like the anxiety of a, of a big mortgage. Right mm-hmm. now, I have a little mortgage. At, at, at what about the to my anxiety, contemporaries. What about the anxiety of falling through your floor? Yeah, there's that. But yeah, I don't like the idea I, of a big mortgage. I just I don't I'm know carrying, what that feels like, I'm and I don't want to ever feel that. And uh, you know the the debt. Uh, the, uh, I'm carrying debt, and it's really, you know, it's not bothering me at all. I I, I don't feel like I'm. Uh, <laughs> You Mike, know, come I, back I don't feel here. Like I You're am, going uh, under, Mike. <laughs> I I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. My kid's gonna have a my kid's yeah. gonna have a great future. Yeah. I think it's gonna. Is this be, is this Pablo? <laughs> At the bottom of the pool. <laughs> that could all change. I, I reserve the I right can't to change come that. To the phone right now because I'm I'm servicing my credit card. Debt. If if a dream home appears and I'm like, well. <laughs> Oh, we got to look at a big mortgage. I'm happy to pull that trigger, and I'm happy to share within that. Uh, well, you that, could be a regular at the Colada. 
I think a lot. You know, I could be a colada years of being, <laughs> By the way, after years and years of being in the Burbs, yes. my uh, sister and brother-in-law moved back in. Yeah. And I think that they love it. They're so happier. I think city dwelling is a smart way to, to rock and roll. The, I really do. I think it's going to be good. So the, the huge takeaway is this. Uh, we spent an hour at the wharf. My father spends three and a half hours at the museum. What's the best thing you saw in your eyes? What's the best thing you saw at the museum? I might have mentioned this, but it's worth mentioning again. Um, in the 70s, when we opened up our, one of our first embassies in Moscow, yeah, uh, the the Ruskies, the Russians, <laughs> they had a big uh, you know, diplomatic ceremony. And they had a child uh, gift, the U.S. ambassador, uh, a wood carving of the uh, what is the u.s seal the eagle yeah right what you see on your on your on, on our on our dollar bills money and it just was so exquisite mm-hmm. and they had the 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 embassy security look at it and make sure that there wasn't any embedded bugs or anything like that and the seal which they have on display um the the ambassador decides hey you know what this is so beautiful i'm going to put this up in my office so he puts it up in his office and you know, little did they know that for roughly for years and years, and ten years. years, a decade, ten years of spying, the back of the of the, the sculpture of the sculpt of the actual was wood carving was almost like a parabolic mic. Yeah, that once hit with the correct frequency, turned into one of those microphones you see on the sidelines of yes. of any football game in America. I know one of my ex wives did that to me. <laughs> We have to. Uh, we have Mike, to take a break. What have you always said about Russia? Yeah, oh, I mean they're, the they're, they're the enemy. They're the enemy. The enemy. Never forget. And look mm-hmm. what's happening now. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And by the way, Germany, let Poland have the tanks. Give them three hundred. Give them four hundred. How stupid are we in the West? Give them the goddamn tanks. Thank you. We'll be right back with more on the Mike O'Mara show. How's it going, Mike? I have an issue with printer streaking. A disembodied voice says, is it a laser printer? The solution was on the other side of this wall. That's right. Saying nothing. Yeah. He's like, no, 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 just shake it. Oh, th- that's not going to work. Just take the cartridges out and shake them. Ichabod weighs in with shake it. Shake it, right. Are you having technical issues with the Mike O'Mara show or the TMOS bonus show? That's right. Have you tried unplugging it and plugging it back in? Never fear. Just email Ichabod at MikeOmeraShow.com and shake Shake it one time for me, honey. And that's all. Oh, hey, there's no better way to maximize your day than by making sure you're feeling like your best self. Liquid IV is the category winning hydration brand, period. Fueling your well being. And their hydration multiplier just may be the one product you're missing in your daily routine. In just one stick, and two times faster, you get five essential vitamins and uh, better hydration than water alone. Use it first thing in the morning before a workout, when you feel run down after a long night out, and on long flights. That's a biggie. Plus, Liquid IV is on a mission to change the world. Liquid IV has done this. They have donated over 25 million servings in over 50 countries around the entire world. Plus, It's convenient, and it is so delicious. They are always coming up with new flavors, and it's yummy, yummy in my tummy. It's the best way to start your day. Be like me. Drink Liquid IV. Grab your Liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 20% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code TMOS at checkout. That's 20% off anything you order when you shop Better Hydration today using promo code TMOS at liquidiv.com. And, of course, we were talking about money, and uh, Rob Spiewak came in earlier today and was mentioning that the Spiewaks are undergoing some belt tightening. And This uh, is I would imagine, a yearly thing. How much do you thing. think? Can I just ask you this? Of course, yeah. And I know we beat the dead horse of you not drinking anymore. Right. How much do you think, conservatively, yeah. you have uh, saved by not being on the hooch anymore? I would say, conservatively, 40 bucks a week. 40 bucks a week. Okay. Yeah, and so right. I'm coming up on a year in March. Mm-hmm. That'll be two grand. That's great. Yeah. That's good stuff. It's a, be- that, it's a and benefit. That, and I mean, also, I mean, where you, where you really feel it is if we go out to a restaurant, yeah, they get you on alcohol. I mean, oh, that's they where the, sure do. That's Absolutely. where the check escalates. It's mm-hmm. cheaper to go out to a ball game, cheaper to go to a hockey game. Oh, you know? I mean, it's crazy. And yeah. then they'll apply you with the drink. And sometimes I forget to order dinner. I often do. <laughs> 
That's when you spill the chili. Well, I think the real value comes from outside of your, your health. Yeah. It, it's just the it's just the, the ability to like, you do you feel like you have a greater quality of life? I do. I do actually. And I know that when mm. I get home, I can do stuff in the evening now. Mm. I mean, it's not like a matter of once I get home, that's sort of where the day stops. It doesn't have yeah. to be that. Yeah. Um, just collapse. Yeah. Right? Um, but what I every year and it's all it's only because we overspend at Christmas every year because we do yeah, everybody's the same way. Yeah. I think a lot of people do that. We go right. through a sort of a belt tightening uh situation in early January. So Carrie gave me a list of things to do to save money. And uh Oh, I can't wait to hear it. this might help everybody. And so here are some tips I have for you all. If you have XM or Sirius radio, call them and do the same thing. Just say, Hey, I know I'm up for renewal soon. What's the best deal you can give me? I went from $28 a month to $5 a month with no wow. change in my service. Mm-hmm. All you got to do is call up and wait a little bit mm-hmm. and go through all that. Um, okay. Here is a, a technology hit that I thought I would never do. And I really, really was dragging my feet for years. I canceled my landline. I had a landline all these years. And the reason why was my wife's big on that was big on that, and I was like, "Why?" I gave I had to really like yeah, it's point. force her to do in that. In the old know? days, even in a power outage, you could still have phone service if you had a landline. And I got to thinking, my landline is through the internet now, so if we have a power outage, I don't have a landline. So, yeah, but gave up your landline, but, gave up your tornado cellar. Yeah, it's, I did. Uh, I did. Yeah, and then right. got rid of the butter churn. But mm-hmm. your phone's charged. Yeah, well, you can charge it in the car. Yeah, so yeah. so that's the thing. It was just it was how I, much a month were you paying for it? It's not uh, expensive. It was it? like uh, and it was we had it's a very cheap. cheap deal. It was like thirty bucks a month we're saving now by not having yeah. a landline. And okay. now now okay. you know salespeople can't call me anymore. But right. the good thing is is that I got a guy at Comcast mm. who was like this. Hey, can I call you Rob? And I said yeah. He says, why don't you have our flex box? I said, what's this flex box you speak of? He said, it'll turn any television into a smart TV. And I said, how much does it cost? He says, as a subscriber, it's free. And by the way, why are you paying for Peacock? You get Peacock for free with Comcast. I said, all right, so that's a good, that was another so, what, five right, bucks so I you, saved. So you tapped onto something for people saving money. Uh, there are services out there. There are apps out there where yeah. you can manage all your subscriptions. I am out of control. Yeah. I'm so out of control. It's not, I go on uh, DirecTV and I'll look at the movies that I, I still pay for. Yep. For a fortune. And there's literally, compared to they're uh, probably on going your, to smart TV Yeah, they're services. probably on your yeah. the it's nuts. services that you and I plan to, And you're motivating me to, yeah. uh, to do that. Right? Each call takes about a half hour, 20 minutes or whatever. But I got down my Comcast bill, which is now just internet and the flex box. And, right. by, and they just want to give this thing away. It, there's no charge for it. My TV in my bedroom is a is a fine wall mounted TV, but not a smart TV. Mm-hmm. They send me this box. I said, and by the way, can you send an extra remote for it? Sure. It it just goes in with a USB right. cable, and you can. So you how can much is that it. saving you? That now I went from Comcast from like one fifty five to one ten, I think, or one oh five. It, it, it all adds money. up. It does. It really does. It does. You got to do it. Everybody's got to manage oh it. Oh my right? god, I can't. This is great that you did this because I did this on Friday. Uh-huh. No, no, Thursday, Thursday evening. I just, I looked at my bill and I said, what the F is that? Like I was paying for a, a website service. Yeah. You forget about things. That, and, I, and I'm a website building service, not like a subscription to a website. Right. From 2015. And I just didn't see it hit my card because it, it was annual. Yep. Yeah. And I missed yep. it. And I called mm-hmm. them and I was like, look. I haven't touched this thing in five years. Mm-hmm. Like, don't you eventually say, like, what's the story? And they're humming, 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 Yeah, humming, exactly. Humming, yeah. Humming. yeah. I, like, I, had food, I had a food uh, uh, channel uh, uh, that I that I pay a subscription for called Braziers. Oh, I've never. And yeah. it was oh. uh, it was uh, B R A Z Z E R. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me look that up again. <laughs> it was. Are again. you sure it's food, again. Mike? Yeah. What? You sure oh, it's yeah. food? I'm sure. No, it's everybody should do this. What else? Anything else other than the mundane? Um, I looked at every streaming service I have uh, that I've, you know, because so many times you subscribe to it because they say first month's free yeah. and you want to watch one show. Canceled yeah. a couple of those. And also 
Went you can into, get an app that'll that'll tell you exactly what to cancel. I don't know what the app is. Carlos I, told me about I it. I, I have yet for to For some do reason, it. I don't trust those. I don't know. Carlos told me there's something out there, there, is, there that helps there, you. Yeah, yeah, I have, it's gone in one ear and out the other, and I haven't paid attention to it. I also, you know? I save. I leave, uh, I'm, I'm a pressured life. I'm doing auctions down here. <laughs> I'm trying to entertain my kid. You know, I'm Mr. Mom now that I'm not playing golf. Carla is completely exploiting me. <laughs> I, I do. I do. I run her errands during the day. You know, she's leaving today and she says, you know, those other air conditioning people are coming between noon and two. And I'm like, <laughs> yes, honey. Anything else you want? Know? I'll do it right after I go to the grocery store. Teamwork. Our, L- our cell phones are through uh, AT&T. Overrated. And I, I, my cell phone service is through AT and T. I called them. Right. I realized that the HBO app is free for me. Okay. We've been paying for it, mm-hmm. and, uh, that's and right. added commercials okay. to everything. And we added everything mm-hmm. up, Mike. And now, in just fifteen years, it'll pay for one plastic surgery. <laughs> <That's very> <laughs> <crazy>. <laughs> but I recommend awesome. you all take a look at all your services and stuff because it's, I uh, have to do that. And the first thing I'm going to do, Directv. No, you know your movies. Yeah, no longer matter to me. All That's right. right. But I still want to see like the shows that they have periodically, you know? So do you I have a talk do you out. have a talking remote or remote you can talk into? I have a wooden phone. Okay. <laughs> Some more Delta. That's the house. And, and the whole fraternity system is <laughs> Don't be like, isn't that an indictment, indictment of our <laughs> educational <laughs> systems in general? We're not going to sit here and listen to you bad mouth the United States of America. Now, the they're, Greek they're, letters they're, point, do you fraternity. know what the symbol is for the fraternity? Was it over when the Germans bombed Pearl Harbor? Yeah, I know the name of of the fraternity, but I don't know what the letters are they correspond to. Fact, drunk and stupid is no way to go through life, sir. I didn't know. I think I don't. I can't tell you whether I think I knew or not. Take it from Vaughn Leibowitz and pledge the funniest fraternity on campus. It's O'Mara House. Fatal Otis sees us! Get a TMOS bonus show subscription by clicking the link at MikeO'MaraShow.com. Sign up today with liberty and fraternity for all. Amen. Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show. You know that turning uh, into your parents might be your worst nightmare. <laughs> you stole that, Rob. Uh, but let's be real. Their weed might have been the best stuff out there. Yes. Well, listen to this. Dad Grass has old school joints that are low in THC, high in CBD, so you can chill out and you can lighten up the old-fashioned way. Dad Grass is legal, organic, smokable hemp that relaxes your body and mellows your mind. And if you want the toke without the smoke... Dadgrass also has CBD gummies made with the same high-quality hemp. They're delicious, easy to dose, and the effects come on smooth. Chill out without getting stoned. It's like having a glass of wine, not the whole bottle. It's out of sight. All Dadgrass products are federally legal for ages 21 and over and ship right to your door anywhere in the U.S. Right now, Dadgrass is offering our listeners 20% off your first order when you go to dadgrass.com slash TMOS. Go to dadgrass.com slash TMOS for 20% off your first order. That's dadgrass.com slash TMOS. Groovy. Sound. 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 We call this stereophonic sound. Sound town. Mike, what do they say as you get older? The days are long, but the years are short. It's so true. It's I know. It's so true. You know where it's true? It's true when you, and, and I have an accelerator of awareness, and the accelerator of awareness is having a nine-year-old son. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's just, you you become aware of it uh, almost on a daily basis, I am, and I will tell you, it's the best thing in my life, and if I overthink it, sometimes it's, uh, it's the saddest thing in my Aww. life, because I'm just looking at him and saying... You know, do your best, Dad. Get your fat ass healthy because you want to be around for that little wonderful. He had his buddy Donnie, who uh, is like a member of our family. I'm glad that's still a thing. Those they've been friends for a long time. They have been a they have been buddies, and they're moving into a a new house in their neighborhood. Okay, uh, and they're moving out of their rental. So we helped out the uh, mom and dad this weekend by having Donnie and Donnie gets up at, uh, can tell you exactly what time he gets up, and he gets up insanely early. But he won't bother anybody, and he's popping around, but he wakes Michael up, and I said, Donnie, what time this morning? 5.30, Mr. Nah. Uh, it, was like, <laughs> it, was, it was funny. Thanks for not bothering us. Pretty well, sure one of the first here. things I do every morning is I look at Facebook memories to mm-hmm. see what's happened you know, on this day and different dates. And it was two years ago we lost Larry King. 
And no. you wrote a really nice little essay. It was actually my memories today about. I didn't know that. Yeah, and you wrote a really nice little thing about how. Larry was an original, and that was one of the reasons you had so much fun with him over the years. Oh, absolutely. Is that he was, he was such an original. So let's take a moment to remember Larry on the second anniversary of his passing. Memories. Atlanta, Georgia. Hello. The, pages of my mind. the United Arab Emirates. Hello. Hello, Larry and Senator Max. Hello. I am Dr. Charlie. Yes, sir. Hello, Larry and Senator yes. Max. Yes, go ahead. I am Dr. Charlie. Yeah, we heard you. Go ahead. Born again. Go ahead. I heard you. Go ahead. Let's take a call. Lynchburg, Virginia. Hello. Montague, California. Hello. Burlington, Ontario. Hello. Palm Coast, Florida. Hello. L.O.J., Georgia. Hello. Jackson, Mississippi. Hello. Email question uh, to the Jacksons from uh, Brenda in Dallas. I'd like to know if the Jacksons saved any DNA for possible cloning in the future. No. Did you give any thought to that? <laughs> no. We miss you, Larry. <laughs> oh, God, that's it. What? Oh, he's up there going, F you, Rob. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Did you give Thank any you. thought to it? <laughs> yeah. Oh God, we had lots of fun with him, and then uh, took over our show back in the uh, back in the day. Larry, Larry King. Wow. Uh, really, an American original. 100%. One of my favorite things you ever made, Mike, was a fake commercial for his amusement park, Larry Land. Yeah, right after he had his heart attack, and the roller coaster was called the heart attack. Oh the heart God. attack. My favorite roller coaster, the heart attack. <laughs> now, I don't get hangovers anymore, but for those okay. who do. There is a trending cure, and there's actually some science behind it. And I've seen this like in 1930s movies. If you dunk your face three times for 30 seconds in ice water, it actually helps cure the hangover because it wakes up what is called the diver's reflex, mm. where your body adjusts. I'd try that. That's fantastic. But I'd try out. that. Yeah, yeah. So this, was a this is the ice bowl method to activate the diver's reflex. Hold your face in the water for five to ten seconds. Repeat three times, and it's going to give you some relief. If you want to avoid this method, don't forget to prime your body by hydrating, adding electrolytes, and throwing in an alcohol metabolism aid. But it's a natural response of the body when a mammal is dunked in, like, cold ocean water or something. Yeah. It adjusts your metabolism and your It systems. doesn't happen to me like it used to, sure. but I will tell you uh, the moments where we might be out too late, uh, you know, everybody's got a little pool here in Florida, sure. and I will take myself out to the backyard, but unfortunately, uh, we've taken to uh, heating it, and so... The worst is you, you, you jump in and you don't want the no, hey, you it's want, comfortable. No, you, you want, want the shock shocked. treatment. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And uh, and you know I think you, you can't put on and especially during the summer when the heater is not on. What about in the canal? Degrees. Uh, <laughs> Gators, Oscar. But Gators. that's why alligators are never hung over. <laughs> <laughs> Still surly though. Mm -hmm. Surly. Oh yeah, pain in the ass. Uh, I don't surly. like precocious yeah. kids as a rule. Okay. And this woman, this young lady, I should say, is a 10-year-old pain in the ass. She lives in Rhode Island. This woman. This woman. This 10-year-old woman. This 10-year-old woman. <laughs> this surly 10-year-old alcoholic so fast. woman is a pain in the ass. She's, this 10-year-old dame. She saved, she saved the cookies that Santa took bites out of this Christmas and submitted them to her, her local police department for a DNA test. That's oh. hysterically funny. And uh, this is how the this is her and the police department's reply. I feel like since you like bit it, then there he might have left DNA. There's a community member looking to get an answer, and we're going to find it. We did locate witnesses who identified an individual in the neighborhood on the evening of the 24th, described as a uh, an older gentleman, white beard, red coat. Good enough for me. <laughs> yep, Good I'm a believer. <laughs> That's right. There you go. And she said she should have said bitten. Yeah, well, she's a 10-year-old woman. Yeah, she's what? She corrected my son the other day, okay? You don't <laughs> Thank get you, bit. Pony. Hey, Pony you know. said something today. Stupid. What did he, he say? He called a child a moron. Yeah, that she was, should know better. That was his first contribution <laughs> she should to know today's better. show. All right, and you think you're having a good day at the office. Let's say, and this is probably one of the people I talked to when I was trying to get my bills adjusted. This is an okay. internet customer service person, and a lady calls in, and she is, Mike. She is. Let's close with this. This customer is not pleased. Get me through to a supervisor! Get out! We closed the f out of this call and get me to a supervisor! No! Do it! Ma'am, there isn't any reason for me to. Ma'am! Get me through to a supervisor, you little f! No, there's your personal foul language! I said supervisor! No! 
Okay, ma'am. All right. No. Okay. No. Okay, give me. No. Don't say another word to me. No. I'm going to put you on hold, ma'am. She is not going to get a free flex no, box. No, you got to kill him with Team Karen. No. <laughs> anyway, uh, you don't know what she's... She, you don't know anything leading up to that. No. Right? That's a, But, Mike, that was a 32-year-old woman. Not a 10-year-old woman. Right. 32... 32-year-old woman who weighed in at... No, anyway, uh, that's Some of it. those uh, animals are yeah. 10 years old. Hey, we got to get out of here. We'll be back with a brand new episode tomorrow. Uh, and uh, don't forget, we're here every day for you because every we day. care. And we would love to see you in New Orleans, Louisiana. Yes. And uh, tickets are available for our live show. A few of them are left. And uh, looking forward to seeing everybody on April 15th, Tax Day. Fly down to the Big Easy, New Orleans, Louisiana, and join us or drive a couple of states over. Or if you live in Louisiana, just get on the bus and come see us at the House of Blues. April 15th. Mass That's transit, Saturday night. Mike. Mass it's going to be transit. fantastic. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow for Rob Spiewak and Oscar Santana. Mike O'Mara saying so long, everybody. Bye-bye. Ciao, ciao. Want more? Make sure you check out the Mike O'Mara Bonus Show. Get it at MikeO'MaraShow.com. Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. Shut your pie hole. We're working here. Hey, how you doing?